Hello everyone, so today we'll be looking at acute otitis media treatment according to NICE guidelines. So here are my references, you have NICE guidelines and you have the some of the doses here I've gotten from the online BNF. Right, so how do people with otitis media usually present? If it's an adult, they can talk to you, they can complain of pain or discomfort or feeling of fullness in one or both ears or they can complain of reduced hearing as well how about in children they can't talk yet right so usually they'll be more irritable they'll be crying very non-specific they can't talk to you and sometimes they'll be holding their ears um, and this is a sign that maybe the pain is in their ears so you might want to have a look in their ears, look at their eardrums and see if there's any signs of otitis media. Once you look, um, you see some positive findings and that's your diagnosis and what you're going to do. So how are you going to treat them? Um, the two available treatments are pain relief and antibiotics. Pain relief you can um, safely give everybody because um, it's painful so you want to relieve the pain. Um, uh, antibiotics is a bit controversial because research actually shows that antibiotics doesn't really help with otitis media. Um, complication rate is the same. Uh, recovery time is the same. It doesn't make much difference. So uh, we'll talk about it later on. So first we look at pain relief. Um, there are two options. There's the paracetamol um, one gram every four to six hours a maximum of four grams per day this is the adult dose so if you want the pediatric dose um, usually they calculate based on the body weight or the age of the patient so refer to the BNF for that and the other option is ibuprofen which is an NSAID um, so the dose is initially 300 to 400 milligrams, three to four times a day. Um, increase if necessary up to 600 milligrams, four times a day. But usually uh, 400 milligrams, three times a day is adequate for maintaining um, the pain relief. Right. Uh, one thing you have to be careful is when you want to prescribe NSAID, you have to think of the contraindications. So a lot of patients, actually asthma is very common and it's actually a contraindication to NSAID. You don't want to prescribe them NSAID. So you have to be careful before prescribing this. Right, now talking about antibiotics. So antibiotics doesn't really help with otitis media, but um, sometimes uh, Patients are very persistent, like they want antibiotics or parents of the children, they are very worried about their child. Uh, it's no wonder they want something done about it. Um, but antibiotics, uh, based on research, it doesn't help. Um, however, NICE has given three options. Um, so either no antibiotics, delayed antibiotics or immediate antibiotics. So no antibiotics and immediate antibiotics is quite straightforward. Uh, no antibiotics because you have to uh, you have to educate uh, the patient or the patient's parents that um, most of the time this uh, otitis media is caused by a viral infection. So antibiotics doesn't work on viruses. Antibiotics only work on bacteria. And um, Furthermore, there are side effects when you use antibiotics. What are the side effects, they might ask. So you have to know side effects. Um, so the common ones are diarrhea, vomiting, rashes. So you tell them about, about, about the side effects and you educate them on antibiotic resistance. Um, I'm not going to go much into that. Mm, but basically, um, if you use the antibiotics now, in future, it might not work on your child or yourself um, because of antibiotic resistance. Right. So, somebody presents with acute otitis media, you're going to give pain relief and you're going to either give no antibiotics or 
delayed antibiotics. So um, this is like a compromise, like very worried patients. Um, you might give them, uh, it's very troublesome for them to come back again. Uh, when it gets worse, they have a logistics issue. So you're going to give them delayed antibiotics. Um, delayed antibiotics, you're going to teach them that actually you don't need these antibiotics yet. If it gets worse or if it doesn't get better in three days, then you might want to try taking the antibiotics. And then there's the option of immediate antibiotics. And you don't, you don't give an immediate antibiotics to everybody. There are only certain cases where you will consider giving immediate antibiotics and certain cases where you will definitely offer immediate antibiotics. So what are these uh, conditions? So there are two presentations where you will consider giving immediate antibiotics. These are um, either there is uh, discharge from the ear, so autorrhea, there's some pus or uh, serous or purulent discharge from the ear, means the eardrum probably already perforated. And uh, that's when you might consider immediate antibiotics. Another scenario is if the child is under two years old and he has otitis media on both ears. That's when you might consider immediate antibiotics as well. Let's consider it's not like a compulsory um, based on your own clinical judgment as well. And then when would you con uh, when, when would you definitely offer immediate antibiotics is when the person appears systemically unwell. So what does this mean? Very high fever, lethargy, and the child maybe uh, it doesn't the child doesn't respond to social cues anymore. It's always sleeping, looks tired all the time. You, uh, the parents might uh, who, or the caretakers might notice that the child is not himself anymore. It's not as active as usual anymore. Difficult to arouse from sleep. That's when you need to suspect something more sinister is going on, and you will give immediate antibiotics and refer to hospital in these cases. So uh, if the child is um, reduced activity and sleeping and difficult to be aroused, you will um, be suspecting sepsis or if you touch the behind the bone behind the ear, the mastoid, and it's painful um, and red and swollen, then you might suspect mastoiditis and this is when you have to refer you give antibiotics and refer to hospital as well. So this is a very uh, nice summary um, by nice guidelines. You can have a look at it at your own time. Um, it's basically what I just uh, said just now. And which antibiotic do you give if you do decide to give antibiotics? So the first line is amoxicillin. Uh, this is a dose for adults again. Tablet amoxicillin, 500 milligrams, three times a day for five to seven days. Um, for children, probably you want to give syrup instead of tablets as they can't really swallow tablets. And also the dose will be depending on their weight or their age. If they are allergic to penicillin, then you might consider other antibiotics such as clarithromycin and erythromycin. Right, I think that's all I have for you. Hope it helps with your revision. Thank you.